Hello, this is Soulsmith. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. I think I know what we need to do. I did a little bit of research, taking a look at the things that I knew we'd done already. And I realized we have to go back to the Ash Twin project. So that is where we're going today. To wait a little bit for the sand to go down on the ash twin. But why isn't my thing working? Oops, no button. Perfect. I just have to wait for a little bit now. So yeah, the trick here, which I should have realized because this is the trick for a lot of these, is to come in here while the sand is still pretty high. And then you can just kind of dodge these spiky things. And now you're you're free and clear. Good. Good to go. I'll just sit here and wait till the sun uh say the sun station lines up again and then it'll teleport us there. The tricky part, I'm not really sure how to get back from the sun station without dying. But we will find that out in just a minute. Let's see if this will work. It should line up perfectly. Yep. There you go. Sun station. Here we are. It's a little disorienting at first because you have to jump from wall to wall here. Let's see what does that one say? Warning, opens emergency door. Alright, open emergency door. Well, you can see that uh, there's been some damage here. Let's see what this says. Six minutes, 40 se 45 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected, sun station hull integrity approaching, critical levels closing emergency doors. Uh, 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for up to 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. So you can see that there's a little bit of a uh, delay in receiving communications. And let me have a scroll here. Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does idea. Uh, but it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the pro purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission is to decide if you such an irresponsible feat is even possible yeah it is pretty irresponsible really to just say hey we're just gonna blow up the Sun especially 
especially in a place that they were they were living in. It's kind of crazy. But we find out when we go downstairs that it didn't quite work out the way they were expecting it to. Okay, let's see, where was the little... There it is, Ash Twin Projection Stone. I think this is what takes us into the... Yeah. This place, I believe this place is in the core of Ash Twin. Of, uh... Oh, what's it called? Right, it says, approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star. 3 minutes, 6 seconds. Approximate time until star's death. 14 minutes, 36 seconds. Sun has reached the end of the natural life cycle, now approaching the Red Giant stage. Warning, evacuate Sun Station. What happened? Did the Sun Station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The Sun barely responded. There were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The Sun Station is useless. It will never and could never cause the Sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I'm sure how to start over. Turn to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Yeah, Pi, I hurt for you. My friends, we all know how hard you work. both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yarrow, or as well as can be expected given the circumstances, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wish the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. This must be Pi or Yero. They died here on the station. They weren't able to get off. Which is very sad. Alright, let's get back. Perfect. I think all I need to do is stand on this thing again. It should work me back. Yes. Alright, now we're back on. And the door is open, so I don't need to worry about getting stuck with the sand. Now I need to come down here. And I think if I understand right. I just need to be in one of these towers. I think I just need to be in this tower here. And um, the other twin shows up. Or is it this tower? Maybe it's this tower. Uh, try this one. Cause this one has a ceiling. See if this works. Here's open. Yep. Oh. Oh wait. Oh no. No, this was the wrong one. Let's put me on the surface. I don't want that. Let's go back. Let's see. Maybe I need to wait on this one. This one has no ceiling, though. There's a scroll here somewhere that explained all this. I think. Maybe not. Is it coming again? Where is it? Oh, there's the scroll.
friends visiting from the Hanging City, we are planning the Ashman project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins Equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Raimi found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I am surprised I didn't see it. Imagine our otherwise immensely clever Konoe would lose his own head if it weren't anatomically impossible. Okay, that's just a silly joke. <laughs> oh, I also need to get back to the comet. That's another, that'll probably be another journey. All right, let's see if this works. Just need to wait for the, oh, here he comes. All right, we'll stand here. Up. And hopefully not get just sucked by the sand. Hopefully this takes us to the core. That's where we want to go. Oh no. Oh wait. Is it gonna? No. That sucks. That didn't work. Huh. How's that supposed to work? Alright, hold on. I gotta look into this. Okay, so I just have to wait. I have to stand under the bridge. And then when it's right overhead, then I take the, the warp. Wait for the sand column to come. Overhead. So it doesn't pick me up right away. Okay, and then I go. No, 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 no. Okay, not like that. It's too late now. Mm. Okay. Just have to wait a little longer. Kind of cool that you can like see everybody from here. Because everyone's in the line. Okay, I think I need to wait for like the sand to just barely pass. It can't pick me up while I'm under here. Okay. Oh, oh, wrong one, wrong one. Dang it. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Too late. Ah. Darn it. <laughs> Uh, hopefully I don't have to reset this. 
Sun's about to go though. All right, we're gonna go take a look again at Ashton. Actually, you know what? This is, we need we need to spend a little time first. Let's go to the comet first. Let's get out to the comet and head to Ashton. Hey, there's the quantum moon. Comet is way out there today. Hopefully we don't just crash into it. Hopefully we don't just crash into the sun. No, I'm no good. Velocity. Maybe we. Maybe we have to. There we go. All right. Let's land on this sucker again. I think I, I want to land like on the side of it. See what I can see here. I guess technically that was the South Pole. I know that there's a frozen ship here. Yeah, right there. And there's a little record that they left. And you can recall the ship, I can't remember. Okay, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. I suppose none of us none of us remain in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise. I think Claire, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Polk and I can continue to investigate the surface. So I think Clary Yeah, it's probably frozen inside there. Um, but Let's see, what's on the north side of the comet? Not much here. I could try and send out my scout. See what I can see what I can see with this thing. that way. What is it bouncing off of there? Oh, it's still coming. Is it coming back around? What's that noise? What? Is it is the ice melting? Cracking or hardening? Oh, oh, oh! Dang! We get close to the sun. Oh, does that? Oh. Does that make a difference? Huh. huh. 
It scouts inside the ice. Because it melted briefly, huh? Okay. So maybe I just need to wait for the, the ice to melt? This is the dark side of the comet, right? So the ice is probably not going to melt here at all. Ship's just kind of skating about. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, it doesn't get lost. Let's refill. So maybe there's going to be something on the warm side here. Oh, I didn't mean to retrieve it. Oh well. This, this part feels pretty solid. I think this is like the face of the comet here. Oh, but these probably open up, huh? Once we get closer. Could just sit down here. Wait for the... Wait for this to melt when we get close to the sun again. If we get close to the sun again, I guess. Comet is pretty dang far now. place where all these line up. That's pretty good right there. Not quite everybody though. Maybe I missed my chance. Doesn't look like we're getting any closer anytime soon, so I probably ought to just head back out. I'll come back here again. Another loop. Let's go out to... Oh, hi, hi white hole. Is that a quantum moon? No, that's giant steep. I need to go out there. Without crashing into Giant Steep. Oops. Ash Twin is what we want. Let's get out far enough that we're not, when we realign, we're not gonna run right into the sun. Please, please make it. Please don't get sucked. 
by the Okay, come on. Don't just align, I'm just need a boost there. There we go. Okay. Oh, dang. I went too far. Just fly to it. I'm just about to miss it, too. That sucks. Alright, we'll be alright. here for it to come back and then walk right through there right at the right time see this map oh the interlopers coming closer again okay that's the that's the orbit it has so the White hole is kind of the midway point for that, for the interloper. I wonder if it ever runs into the sun. So we're almost opposite of the. Oh no, it's coming around again. It should be coming around again. Pretty soon. This is the one that I want. We just have to wait for the the sand to be directly overhead. So I think it has to be like completely surrounding us. And then we we'll walk in there. did it. Ah, oh, fantastic. It's like what I've been waiting to get to this whole time. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool. Yep, this is where we see the eyes. One, two, three. We've seen it so many times. Okay. Nine minutes until end of cycle. Transmission. Masks receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant Steep Memory Statue, Timber Hearth Memory Statue. Okay, the probe track, that's probably the one that I've not seen yet. 13 minutes, 12 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Okay, so this is where all of the data storage goes from my experiences and from Gabbro's experience. Yero, today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here, in this space, we carved or we will car craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project, powerful enough to send information back in time. Coleus, we have also finished relocating all subterranean plants we've met while digging. We will need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the High Energy Lab, I still can hardly believe that Remy's hypothesis was true. Poke just sent back, sent the warp core for the final tower to us 
from the Black Hole Forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep, where Kasab is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and where Phlox is sculpting the memory statues. Hypothesis, it was not by accident that the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis, the course could be could have been forged faster if Kasava had interrupted my work last frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through Ash Twin now, and also that I am no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Our friends on Giant Steep tested the Herbal Probe Cannon today. Mallow tells me that my cannon is doing well, and that Avens advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Avens can. But then, if anyone can go to device into exploding, that too is likely Avens. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew in the interest of safety. But helps. Would it help to remind Avens that Mallow, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Mallow part of the problem? Uh, Alright. Vox and Daz finished the memory statues today, and they are truly remarkable. When the Ashwin project succeeds, or in the event it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. So they did it just to s s store the data. I and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and at, at last is complete. If everything goes as planned, the structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Ash Twin project requires. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. Okay, I will read those as soon as I finish these. We are nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back by, in time by 20 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle operated by the Ashton Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end the cycle at will. Okay, well, if we end this cycle... These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Um, however, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin Project is theoretically sound. We are only able, unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station to generate the power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable super option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. This is easier to express than accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer idea, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we are anxious to explore it. It has been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we are excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I have to go back to the comet. Okay, giant steep projection stone. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of them. Okay, um, okay, we'll do this one first. Let's see what this says. I've installed the masks inside the Ashman Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience will be hard to endure. It is kind of... <laughs> Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashman project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. They were unaware. I have good news, Yero. The advanced warp core is ready to be finished, or to be installed in the central chamber of Ash Twin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. Pai is beside herself with joy. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Nor her, Yero. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. That's me. Don't worry, love. Hope is only nervous. The core is extraordinary, and her design work is beautifully clever. Hmm. My 
gratitude for the oops, for the latest ship and on out this or should be the last one needed for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? Specifically mine. If my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. We'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes the better. There's a small flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell, that seals off the central chamber. We'll check the to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Raimi and I will be checking the interior and then the exterior for cracks or final safety check. Alright. So, can I use these anywhere else? Let's pull this. Oh something over here. What's this? Artificial gravity control. Oh, um, maybe I want to keep that on. Uh, maybe I don't want to keep it on. Alright, let's see. Oh. Oh, yeah, what did that do? There's the warp core. Can I take that with me? Um, how do I drop this, though? Just want to set it down. No! Maybe I need to turn the gravity back on. Okay. Drop that. Oh, no. Go back. Okay, I can take the warp core. I don't know if I have enough time for anything yet, though. Oh, one of the mask fell off. Wait, is that one of these ones? No, not one of the activated ones. Okay, um... I don't think I have enough time, though. I would need to get to Bramble Hollow. Ouch. I don't know. And I just said it. Oh no. I'm... Yeah, there's not enough time. Can I sit this down? Oh, pump. Yeah, the sun's about to go. Oh, it's too. It's too strong. Anyway. Oh, maybe. I'd have to go back here. Oh, that's quite a journey to, to get there. Hmm. I don't know if I have enough time. This, this is different music though.
I don't think I have enough time, do I? <laughs> I don't think this is going to work out, but... We'll see, I guess. Okay, I know I need to just... Just go through. Just go. And then don't. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. We gotta reset. Okay, where's the red one at? There it is. Get too close to that one. I think this is just the music telling me that now it's like now or never kind of thing. Just have to go. Okay, go straight and just drift. Oh, uh, this isn't gonna work. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You are dead. Oh, no. Does it not reset? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. Don't tell me I don't get another chance. <laughs>